Huh? Why does a cat eat grass? Firstly, the most common reason cats eat grass is to help vomit up hairballs that accumulate in their digestive tract due to grooming. Secondly, grass can act as a natural laxative to help the cats with constipation. Thirdly, some people believe that grass contains nutrients like folic acid that may be beneficial to a cat's diet. Lastly, some people also believe that cats might also just like the taste and feeling of chewing the grass. Why does a corpse flower stink? The corpse flower stinks to attract pollinators like flies and beetles that love the smell of rotting meat. Its foul odor comes from chemicals also found in decaying animals such as sulfur compounds. Hmm. Now, when the flower blooms, it also starts heating up, spreading its nasty smell even farther, making it seem like a warm, fresh carcass. These bugs, fooled by the stink, land on the flower and help pollinate it. Hence, the corpse flower stinks. Hmm. Why do we get a flaky scalp in winter? Firstly, cold air and low humidity can dry out our skin, including the scalp, leading to flakes and itchiness. Secondly, indoor heating also contributes to the dryness by removing moisture from the air. This can cause our scalp to lose its natural oils, leading to irritation. Thirdly, a lack of sunlight in the winter months can affect the balance of our scalp's natural oils and yeast-like fungi, like Malassezia, which can cause dandruff. Lastly, wearing hats during winter can further trap heat and sweat, promoting dryness and flakes. Hmm. Huh? Why are babies born with blue eyes? Before being born, babies spend several months in almost complete darkness. Now, in many babies, melanocytes secrete melanin without the need for light. In these cases, the melanin gives the baby's eyes their brown color at birth. Hmm. But in some babies, melanocytes require light to trigger melanin production. Now, as these babies have spent the last several months in almost complete darkness, there hasn't been much melanin production, hence their eyes look blue. What is the science behind muscle growth? Firstly, for muscle growth, we need to apply stress, which is greater than what our muscles are used to. This leads to mTOR and satellite cell activation. Both are responsible for muscle growth. Hmm. Secondly, when one feels sore after a workout, one may be experiencing localized muscle damage. This leads to the activation of satellite cells, which are said to be responsible for muscle growth. <laughs> Hmm. Lastly, pump training, as in doing repetitions at a fast speed with short rest intervals, causes metabolic stress. Metabolic stress causes cell swelling around the muscles, thus making them appear larger. Hmm. Why do humans have five fingers? A theory suggests that we have five fingers because together they make a perfect strong grip. Using them, we can operate small objects with great control and precision. Second theory suggests that three molecules called BMP, WNT, and SOX9 are responsible for our five fingers. Since in our embryonic stage, they mark out spaces specifically for these five fingers. Finally, Lim Law predicts that the number of fingers on our hand should be around five Based on the idea that since fingers must be able to reach back over our palm and cover it, the finger length should be roughly the same as the diameter of our palm. Hmm. What is the cause of birthmarks? Birthmarks are colored marks on our skin which are present at birth or appear shortly afterwards. Birthmarks are of two types, vascular and pigmented. Vascular birthmarks are caused when a lot of blood vessels clump together, or they are stretched wider than usual. 
Pigmented birthmarks are generally caused when cells called melanocytes grow together in clusters. Birthmarks may also be inherited sometimes, and some of them may be similar to marks on other family members. Mm. Huh? Why do some people develop allergies? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. Thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. Mm. Huh? Are treadmills bad for us? Firstly, on a treadmill, Instead of our leg muscles, the propulsion belt propels our body forward. Hence, it limits our muscle development. Secondly, as compared to treadmills, nature provides us uneven surfaces and turns, thus allowing our leg muscles to learn and adapt. Thirdly, most treadmills don't have a downward incline feature. Hence, the runners don't get the benefit of jogging downhills. Lastly, running on treadmills can be extremely boring as compared to running outdoors. Hmm. How will we sound on Mars? Firstly, because of the cold Martian atmosphere, sound travels at a lower speed on Mars as compared to that on Earth. Hmm. Secondly, as the Martian atmosphere is extremely sparse, it affects the way sound waves travel from one point to the other. Hence, the volume of sound heard on Mars is automatically lower. Hmm. Lastly, the Martian atmosphere is made up of around 96% carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide absorbs a lot of higher pitched sounds. As a result, only lower pitched sounds can travel long distances on Mars. Hmm. <laughs> How do spiders make their web? Firstly, the spider uses its silk thread to connect both the endpoints, thus forming a bridge. Secondly, the spider also ties a loose thread between both the points. Now from the center of the loose thread, it adds a new thread and pulls it to form a Y shape. It then joins the three points to form a frame. Then it starts laying radial threads till the web becomes strong enough. Finally, from the center of the web, it starts laying the silk threads spirally, eventually completing the web. Hmm. What causes some people to stutter? In our brain, Wernicke's area and Broca's area control our speech and language. Wernicke's area helps in choosing the correct words to express our thoughts. Whereas Broca's area is believed to be involved in producing movements in vocal folds, tongue, etc. Thus allowing us to speak those words. Now, stuttering can occur if a brain injury or stroke either damages the Broca's area or reduces the blood flow to this region, thus not allowing it to produce movements properly. Hmm.